So this is the new gym. This is the new main gymnasium and physical education space, likely to be one of the most heavily utilized spaces in the Oregon School District. I really love the second story. Could be utilized for uh, observation. Uh, I imagine at, earlier on you said uh, graduation could be here if we had a rainy day. Yes. Actually, this, this space is probably the one that went through the largest redesign of all the spaces post-referendum. Because remember, in the referendum, we were thinking it would be one large, very open uh, physical education and gymnasium area. We've now split that up into two sections, this being the main physical education and gym area, and then the performance fitness center that we walked in that faces Highway 14. That's really the second section. In the referendum, we had those areas combined, but what we wanted to make sure that we did was get the final design right. Our high school design team and our high school physical education department came up with this alternate design. We worked with Bray Architects and with Findorf Construction, and this is a total, a total redesign of a space and a redesign of a space that is going to serve us better. So our, our design team just did an awesome, awesome job with making this new space. Now, was the, in the original plan uh, for that, the second story, was that always going to be there? No, we did not have a second story in the original design. The Most of that seating to get up to a little over 2,000 would have been on the first level, but once we reduced the gymnasium uh, and physical education footprint, the second story or our second level was the way that we could maintain that 2,000 capacity and that's going to be critically important uh, first of all for graduation on days when we're not able to be outside and secondarily large community events we can now host in our in our facility where previously it was really hard for us to get all of our staff together in, in one place. And these on the second level, now was this part of, once you got to the second level, did you anticipate that this was going to be a running track around here? Well, we had a, once we went to the, once we went to this design, yes. The initial idea of a running track we were going to have in that four station physical education area. So we wanted to replace that because that's an important part of our curriculum. Also, it's an opportunity for community members to use. So community members will have access to that space. Uh, and it's a relatively circular track going around. I don't know the actual measurements of it, but it's a perfect space for walking, for running, uh, and for exercising. And this will be open to our community as well. That's a great uh, uh, addition. And it's great that it's open to the community. Yes. Early hours get in. And... It, it's been something, uh, again, almost a distinguishing characteristic of our district where the taxpayers have paid for the facilities. You can use a facility, a classroom, a room at any time, you know, for nonprofit purposes. And we'll provide you with a POG. You get to POG yourself in, POG yourself out. And the school facility really is a community facility. Now, and eventually when it's all said and done, the floor we're standing on will be uh, a good old gym floor on here. Your typical wood, your typical wood gym floor, that's actually the last piece to go down. Uh, they're working, as the, as the engineers and architects described, from the top to the floor. To the floor. And yeah. you, you can see they've already installed, that looks like some speaker Speakers, systems. Yeah. And everything the last time we were here uh, was unpainted. It's now painted that, that common uh, creamish color. And you'll notice the lights are very different. Uh, they're LED lights, they're small, they don't, pr they don't put off a great deal of heat, and most importantly, they are the lowest cost energy lights possible, which was something that was real important with our uh, green initiative approach. And a true light, there's no shadows. Yeah, it, 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 isn't, isn't it amazing? Yes, it's a, it, there's nothing, you know, you, it's you would a great, think in a great space, illumination. In a space this large with that small of a I light, know, it's a, that it's, there would be dead spots, and it is perfect. What is the anticipated date for this to be done? Well, if all things go well, we're hoping to be able to get in in April, April, April. of 2017. Okay. Fantastic. And since we're now undercover, 
We're not dealing with the elements anymore. Yep. We think that's a very reasonable timeline. Right. So now we're just off the gym in the, what, what is this? The, the This uh, would be the principal's uh, administrative offices okay. area. And this will lead us up to? This will lead us to the main entrance. Main entrance, okay, great. Which looks fabulous from the outside. Yes, it has, yeah. the design has been just terrific. Yeah. Very visible, I love the iconic, uh, emblematic uh, logo. Yes. of the new uh, new Oregon. We're still in, this would be the main principal's office uh, reception area. What we don't see right now are the areas where, this will be a glass wall right here. Here. And then on this side will be a glass wall as well. And from this column to that column will be the a vestibule. And when people enter, after school starts, there will be a door here, and we'll walk back into the principal's office, check in, and then be buzzed in to go into the school proper. Wherever they are. But all the students in the morning, they're, they're open, and they'll yes. be flooding into the... Yes. Into yeah, these, the... these doors will be open, and the vestibule doors right here, here. will be open. So there'll be another... Uh, another set of doors. Another set of doors here. And then out here is the is the entrance, and uh, of course there's uh, more parking. Mm -hmm. And we have some feature signing that will be in the terrazzo floor, but I'm not going to tell you about that feature signing yet. Oh, I'm excited to see so it when it this happens. This is a this is a teaser for when uh, the feature signing comes in, okay. and it will be a way for our students to know this entrance from the south entrance. Great, sounds like a compass. Or a sundial. Can't comment on that yet. Okay. It's, All right. Well, we'll see. It, it will be a great surprise. So this space just off the main entrance is what? This is a large, generous space that has great community access, uh, very prominent in at, at the high school, and it's going to be an art gallery. So we anticipate art from high school students as well as art from elementary, RCI, and middle school students. You can see it's a generous space, Very. a little larger than the size of a typical classroom, so I believe it's around 1,100 square feet. So we are going to fill this gallery with student art. Fantastic. Will it uh, have doors out here? Uh, yes, it will, have, it will have a glass uh, walkway uh, on both sides, which provide great visibility in when it's not open, but the majority of time it's going to be open for community members and students to come through. And it's something that can be rotated as, uh, as the students leave yes. uh, their senior year and go on, yes. unless it's something really valuable. We yeah. want to keep it, right? It's likely, likely it won't be permanent art because yeah. it will be art made by the students. Okay. And when you're, in, when you're in our school district, you'll have an opportunity to have some of your work featured right here. Great. You know, we do see a lot of the student art, and it is spectacular. Mm -hmm. It really is. Every year we hold a district office art show at the end of April and the art gets replenished in our district office and it is one of the highlights of the year for me. Dr. Bussler, thanks once again for your time today and the continued uh, uh, journey through this whole building process, inviting us in and you know, letting the community see the, what's happening. We've appreciated the opportunity and while covering this gives our community members an opportunity to walk through and see parts of the space that honestly they wouldn't have the opportunity to see because it's under construction. We hope the community is as excited as we are. We know our students when we opened Brooklyn this fall were completely overjoyed with that new space. Uh, the middle school which we opened on January 4th I believe when we came back to school Students again and staff very excited about the space, received lots of positive comments from parents on Brooklyn as well as uh, the middle school and then the high school just a couple of days ago when we opened that new second story addition was a, a terrific addition. We're looking forward to getting parents in that, and they can come and visit anytime. I know I've said a number of times if a community member or a parent would like a private tour or a special visit, either I or someone will walk them through so they can see it firsthand. But this is really uh, our crown jewel in terms of investment. It's the largest investment that we've made out of all of the referendum projects and it is turning out 
uh, just super and fantastic. We think the community is going to feel the exact same way when they get an opportunity to come in and visit us. I believe they will. Hey, Dr. Bustler, I have one more request. Who's buying lunch? Today, lunch is on me. Oh, great.